Hi everybody, this is Mark from Mark's Mandalas, and this tutorial is going to show you a pattern that I am painting on a glow-in-the-dark resin coaster that I made. Um, I am starting off with my center dot. I pre-marked the center spot, marked the center dot, and now I'm doing the first four dots in the form of a clock face uh, or a compass face, if that's a better visualization for you, where I paint the, the first four dots at 12, 6, 3, and 9 o'clock, or the north, south, east, and west. Um, this is going to be a 16-dot pattern, so after I paint those first four dots, I'm going to paint another dot in between each of those. Um, then I'm going to actually switch colors and paint another set of eight dots in between those dots. Um, after that, I'm going on to do a circle of eight dots, larger ones, and I'm going to be doing some uh, dot drags in this uh, in this video. You might call a dot drag a swish or a swoosh. There are several different uh, terms for them. And uh, before I do that, I'm uh, marking a dot at what I call the 12 o'clock of that white dot, um, which means if I if I'm looking at the dot as a clock face and the bottom of the dot closest to the center dot is the six o'clock, I try to paint that blue dot at the 12 o'clock. After that, then I am taking a letter size A tool and placing it below that blue dot and pulling it around the white dot um, and keeping contact all the way through the drag. Um, I find that I can, like walking the dots, I do, uh, I, I'm more comfortable dragging the, um, from the top side on the left hand side, and then when I do the other side of the dot, I drag it pulling away from me um, with it being closer to me. It's hard to explain just verbally, but hopefully with the video supporting what I'm saying, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Um, after I'm done doing that, circle of dots with the drags. I'm going to do another circle of dots here. Um, you'll notice that I'm also going back and forth on the camera view. I feel they both have advantages and I wanted to give you um, a view from both angles. Uh, pretty equal, um, equal amounts of time between them. And uh, as far as um, the paint colors and brands, I'll put them in the description below, as well as links to uh, the dotting tools I'm using. I'm using Mark Spindola's dotting tools. And I will also have a link to a sheet that I put together that has some tips and visualizations. Um, as you can see on here, there are no lines drawn out at all. That is because I paint freehand. I do mark the center dot, but I don't uh, draw any other lines out. I use vi visualization techniques that work really well for me. And and the uh, sheet that I have put in the description below uh, will give you some examples of those visualizations. I'm also adding the, um, the size of the tools as I change them out. Uh, they show up for a couple seconds at the, at the bottom of the video. And getting back to the pattern that I'm painting right now, uh, this is in the style of a tile that I did when I was in Texas this last spring. Um, the background for the tile was white, where this one is uh, is a light blue. So I did some rearranging of the of the color sequences, but I wanted to keep the same uh, the same theme and style. This uh, this pattern incorporates dot drags and I will also be walking some dots on top of the dot drags um, once I get done with all of the base dots and, and drags, um, which I'm getting pretty close to right now. It's a, um, pretty much a similar repetition going through here where I do, um, I'm doing eight base dots and then I do a, a small anchor dot at the 12 o'clock and then I'm doing dot drags on both sides of the dots. And I do that a couple of times, and um, actually three times, the white and the, and the gray and the white again. Um, 
And then after all that paint dries, I'm going to start putting on some top dots and, and walking the dots on the dot drags. Now this coaster that I'm painting on is one that I, I made. I'm using two-part resin and then I used some solar color dust glow dust. So this is a glow-in-the-dark coaster and if you uh, wait till the end of this video you'll be able to see this uh, both in normal indoor lighting and then in a completely dark room. So you'll be able to uh, you know, to see how this thing looks while it's glowing in the dark. Um, I'm going to be posting another video very soon, I think my next video, that's going to show you how I made this coaster from beginning to end. Um, as far as the amount of glow dust I added, it may have been more than I needed to add, but I don't think that was really a bad thing. It gives kind of a, of a layered effect when you see the coaster from the side, and it also glows, I would say, pretty darn bright um, in a dark room. I was really impressed with how bright it, it glows. Now with this different style of uh, switching back and forth between the two cameras, um, it's a little different than the last uh, tutorial I did where I did the first couple of dots at close to regular speed and then sped it up quite a bit. Um, this is keeping a little more consistency with the speed for the most part. Um, please let me know if you like one over the other or if um, if you like both of them, if, if you have a particular preference or not. Um, as I'm evolving and doing my, my videos, your feedback is very important to me as I would like to create uh, content that, that you find entertaining and helpful. I think this pattern is a nice one to practice a lot of different techniques. There are um, a lot of elements in, in this particular mandala. You have the, the main dots, and there are also accent dots, top dots, dot drags, and walking the dots. So this would be a good one to practice, whether you do it on a rock, a coaster, um, a tile, um, coffee mug, all kinds of different things you can practice this on. And if you're finding any of the, of the steps um, a bit intimidating, please feel free to just not do them. Um, there are quite a few small dots being placed on this pattern and some techniques that you might not be comfortable with. I encourage you to give them a try, but I also want uh, this experience to be enjoyable and relaxing for you. So please don't uh, force it to the point of, of being stressed out about it. It's uh, just a matter of just doing things in repetition. And as the more you do it, you get more comfortable uh, to be able to start uh, stretching yourself and trying things that you haven't done before. And this pattern uh, will give you an opportunity to try a lot of different techniques. So uh, feel free to try them all or just the ones that you're comfortable with. Now I'm getting ready to do the last of the top dots. And after these, uh, these top dots are done, I'm going to be walking dots on all of the drags on this mandala. I'm going to start with the outer ones and then I'm going to go ahead and do uh, the smaller, I'm going to walk the dots on the smaller drags on the inner part of the pattern as well. And like I just said a little bit ago, go ahead and feel free to do the ones that you're comfortable with and, uh, and just make it your own. Um, if you're enjoying this, uh, this content, this video, I would appreciate it if you would hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Uh, please share it with others if you think that they would enjoy this. And uh, I have many more videos I'm planning on releasing. Um, I'm going to be trying to release at least one video a week. Uh, occasionally I might be able to get a second one in, but um, I'm going to try very hard to have at least one video a week. Now the one thing that is different between walking the dots and all of the other dots including the drags, um, is you only dip the tool one time and make multiple dots um, when you're walking the dots. Everything else, you want to re-dip the tool 
every time before making another dot or when dragging a dot. So those are the, the big differences between um, regular dots and dot drags compared to walking the dots. And I'm going to go ahead and let you just watch this for a little bit and then I'll be right back with you. Well, actually, we're getting really close to the end of this video, so I hope you have enjoyed this. Please remember to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And uh, here is a look at the final piece in normal daylight and in a dark room. This is Mark from Mark's Mandalas. Until next time, rock on.